Hey, how are you doing? So I should finish my uh, ship and at the hospital, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Well, 7, what's not? It's 7.45 a.m. right now, and I'm really tired. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna go home and uh, take a quick nap. Let me see, I think I have a four hour of training for my another job. I don't know if you know, but I have a full-time job here at the hospital, and I have another part-time job um, working with me. And that part-time job is, let me see, I think I only work like 12 hours there, but it's working with an like, autism kid. So it's rewarding, but I'm so tired right now. I think, well, let's see, I, I went to sleep at night. I would say 12 p.m. to what? I think 12 p.m. to I think 5 p.m. yesterday. And then after that, I went to uh, get ready, went to work at uh, 6. Got here around like 6.30, 6.40, check in, got work. And yeah, today, uh, well, the whole ship was rough because I mean, it's a hospital. I mean, overall, it's not that bad, to be honest. Anyway, so... My first blocking experience is kind of weird, to be honest. Because right now, I don't... Sorry for the bad quality on the video. Because I'm uh, recording on my uh, iPhone 7. It's 2019 right now, and I'm recording on 2000... Well, no. It's 2019 right now, and I'm recording on um, the iPhone 7. Yeah, so kind of jump up everything in my head right now. Uh, 12 hour ship. But yeah, I'm still getting used to the whole 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. thing. I mean, it's not my first time doing the long hour ship. Like, I did 24 or 40 hours before, but... This is have to get you have to get used to it, you know. This is my technically this is my third week doing it, so I'm still getting used to it. But yeah, right now is seven forty two a.m. on Monday. She got out of work. Gonna go home, sleep for about two or three hours, and I wake up because I have a, a training for my other job from twelve p.m. to four eight p.m. And hopefully after that. Gonna go home, get something to eat, or probably I gotta try to get exercise, some workout in before I eat, because I haven't eaten anything signed yesterday night. Like, I think around like in the afternoon, twelve p.m. So I usually fast. Do I? I used to do intermittent fasting for thirteen hours. I, I because I didn't like the cardio, uh, cardio rhythm, the thirteen hour. Most people do like 16, 8, but for me, I just do 13, so I don't eat. I stop eating after like 9 or 10, 9, 10 p.m., and I, I start eating again after 10 a.m. So overall, it's not a hard night fasting, but it's a good uh, system for me to like, like control my diet, I guess, or control my, uh, what I eat at a certain time. Oh wait, I'm kind of rambling on right now, so to make this short, my first blocking experience, I just would, I have to do this, so to make myself more, how can I say this, out of the box, out of my comfort zone, and just get it going, you know, but yeah, I will see you guys later. <sighs> so, I just got back home. Man, the angle is weird. Okay. Anyway, so I just got back home. Um, was it? I think it, uh, it's twelve oh forty nine right now. And <laughs> you were like, "Wait, I thought you were gonna go to the training, right?" Yeah, I did. Went to the training. Got there actually on time, exactly at uh, twelve eight p.m. Yeah, twelve p.m. Twelve p.m. 
And guess what? We I got into the training, talked to the training coordinator and stuff like that. And then I found out it was NCI CPI training, which is pretty much is non-crisis intervention by CPI. Um, so as I told you before, like I work in a hospital, it's a mental psych hospital. So there they make you do that before you get onto the floor. So I have my training for CPI already. I didn't know that I, he, um, today training for my uh, autism job, it needs CPI and NCI. Actually, I kind of know, but I always send in my uh, the blue card. We ha- after you done your NCI CPI training, you get a certificate, and then I send my in to my case manager at the part time job, and I assume that he oh he's clear me, and then this training was was for something else. And so I went into the office today, and then he was like, oh, today is NCI CPI training. And I was like, hey, just letting you know, I already have my blue card. I showed it to him, and he was like, yeah, for their training, it's, uh, you get certified for three years, but for psych hospital, it's only for one year. So he was like, I, he gave me an option to either do the training today and tomorrow, which is like four hours today, and I think like another four hours tomorrow, and get the three years. I'll come back either I think in three weeks, the same Monday. And this whole day over again on in three weeks, and just do three hours of uh, recertification. And I was like, uh, you know what? Can you jump? Uh, I just gonna. I'm already here. Might as well do it. And then after thirty minutes, uh, after no, not even thirty minutes. After 20 minutes or so, he talked to, I think, his um, supervisor or the management. And then he, they were like, you know what? It's going to cost a lot of money to certify you, say you already have it. We're going to work something out. And then they sent me home. So just drove another 25 minutes and I'm, I'm here back at home. I'm really hungry, to be honest. The reason I'm doing this right now because I want to make myself comfortable because instead of going straight to get food and being lazy, I'm put this on record right now. I'm gonna go do my exercise, gonna do my workout. I'm probably gonna do like ten minutes of uh, insanity, and then probably like uh, thirty to an hour of P ninety X. Just need. If I'm getting too tired, maybe at the end, I'm just going to do 30 minutes. But I need to get at least 30 minutes of my workout in before I eat. So, yeah. Hope I will see you guys later. Bye. Hmm. Oh, this angle is too weird. <laughs> uh, I don't like my fat chin. Anyways, so it's almost midnight. And yeah. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Gonna wake up at uh five thirty tomorrow. Why am I waking up at five thirty? Because I need to well first of all, right now I'm trying to get a uh, set a routine where I wake up really early to work out so I don't get lazy <laughs> throughout the day. Because I my my schedule is pretty hectic now. So if I get tired or lazy and I after after like in the afternoon, I'm not gonna work out. Oh, I mean, I would try to work out, but eventually it's gonna be like, hey, I rather just go to bed or just like watch YouTube and just be lazy, you know? Like after you work a lot and you get burned out, you don't, you don't feel like working out. So right now, so for tomorrow, I'm gonna try to wake up at five thirty. And uh, let's see, wake up at 5.30, do my morning routine, brush my teeth, get some uh, meditation, try to get 10 minutes of meditation, and then I have to stretch, and then, yeah, just do a light cardio in the morning. And then at around 6.30, that's when the stock market, I live in California, so the stock market, well, the free market is at 6 a.m., but I don't trade free market. So at 6.30, that's when I start looking at the 
Oh, that's when I start trading. But I should be on the computer around like 6.15 to see the chart and everything. So yeah, anyways, what's, what else do I say? Oh yeah, so about the stock trading, like just FYI, right now I'm not going crazy with the money on the stock. I'm still trading really small, like less than 10 share per stock. So it's not something crazy for some, um, because I don't want to, how can I say this? It's risk and reward ratio. So right now I want to have a consistency with trading. So I want to consistent with uh, having profit before I scale up and put more money into the stock market. Because right now I'm still in the uh, beginning phase of trading. So crossing my finger and I mean, right now I actually need more experience and more trading and then just get used to all of the charts and yeah I mean the more you do it the better you get right same thing like this logging at night since it's so weird doing this sorry if like this whole YouTube video is kind of slow compared to what you watch because I'm very sure most of the video that you watch is more of like fast talking, but here is just like my big chubby face. Oh yeah, there's no one here either. It's just me, my whole bed. I just like this big bed, and why well, do I have two pillows? Just so when I roll over here, I have no pillow. Yeah, I'm weird like that. <laughs> uh, what else? Um. Tomorrow, oh yeah, so tomorrow, uh, after trading stock, I only train the, the first two hours. So after the first two hours, um, back to working out. Yeah, so I did like cardio and then trade stock. And then after that, I need to do weight training. If I have time, I will just uh, run to the pot really quick. The pot is only like 10 minutes away from uh, my, my place. So it's not bad. And then... I was going to do is a quick pull up there because there's a flip around there that I could do a pull up. And my pull up is really crap right now. I can't even do like. Let's just say I can't even do three good pull like three like decent pull up. I mean, I could technically hang on the uh, pull up ball and kind of pull slowly pull myself up. But I cannot do more than like one or two. I'm that fat right now. I mean, I've been slowing down, and I've been losing weight. At the beginning of the year, I was like 90, 194, 195. Right now, like last week, uh, I was uh, 187. I think it was 16.7, something like that. But yeah, so I've been doing good. I've been losing pounds. So overall, I think I lost about almost 8 pounds. For three months, or two, or well, two months, it's the beginning of uh, March. So yeah, for two months, eight pounds. Uh, it's a good start, right? I mean, eight pounds in two months. It's a good start. Anyways, so exercise, then come back here. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, either I'm gonna eat because my uh, my fasting should. Be ending around like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. So I should eat something and then go film my uh, YouTube video. Well, no, another YouTube video. Not this vlog. But yeah, and then edit that. Because I've been procrastinating. Because right now, I really want to put out two videos a week. But <laughs> yeah, I've been mean, really procrastinating and been slacking off and then after that I have my uh, my team meeting for my other part-time job so that's like two three hours I think that's what uh, around what two, two or three p.m. oh no that, that's around 3 p.m. so technically I have the afternoon free to do the whole YouTube thing and I still not used to this fat chin Man, I need to get back in shape. 
anyways um so after the team meeting for work come back home he see he's a problem with me after I got done working right I was to go back home I go straight to eating and take a sh- well I go straight to take a shower eat and then just that's it that's my day but the thing is right now I'm trying to get to the routine where after I was done working come back home right I, I, this for the weekday and I, um weekday I come back home I'm just gonna stop working out take a shower and then eat and then I should do at least one or two hour work before I take a and before I end my day because I believe in a take a uh, a rest you know if you have the whole day busy I I think a good time to rest is around like 8 or 9 p.m. because like if I wake up at 5 or 5 30 I should sleep around like 11 because like, I need at least six to seven hours of good sleep. So yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow, and I'm I'm trying to do this every single day. So if you still watching to this point, thanks for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Hope you have a good night, and hope you have a good good day. Alright, bye.